Hey guys, Rachel CPR here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you my breakfast nook for our coffee, hot chocolate, tea, and all of our cereals. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it and I hope you get some great ideas. Let's get right into it. If we start over here at the breakfast bar, here we have the cereals that my children are currently loving and we have them in large jars and to keep the cereal nice and fresh, we just use a coffee filter to place it between the lid and the jar and that keeps the cereal very fresh. It does not go bad at all. And we have these two containers here that are for water, juice, or milk. And then we have some fresh fruit just for grabbing on the go. And then these three containers contain their favorite cereals, but I think it is a lifesaver when you are trying to replace um, your children's favorite cereals with the more healthy version of their of their favorite cereals because they never have to see the box and so they are not so upset about not having the cereal that they normally like. And then going down on this tray, you see um, to the left over here, I normally have a cute little saying for their morning time wake up, but I do not have it there now because I'm trying to think of something really cute and witty. So if you can think of something super cute and witty to put on this board, I would love for you to share it with me and then we'll put it on our board. And uh, you can see that I didn't do a very good job erasing it. It said good it said good morning, good afternoon, good evening, because the cereal bar is always open. So if you can think of something really cute for me to put on that bar, I would really love it if you were to share it in the comments below. So this is our Keurig coffee maker. And then over here we have our Farberware hot water percolator, which you can make coffee and tea in that because it comes with a filter for it, but I only use it for water. And then over here we have our Mr. Coffee 12 cup coffee maker. And I absolutely love this thing. I've been using it almost almost every single day. Whereas my husband likes the Keurig, I like this um, 12 cup coffee maker right now. I don't know why I'm switching over to that. I'm just loving the way the temperature of the water gets with my coffee and so I've really been loving that. And then to the right of the Mr. Coffee, I have a container of Himalayan sea salt and then this is caramel flavoring and this is vanilla flavoring. And I got both those containers from the dollar store and the tops I also got from the dollar store. Those were two in a pack for $1. So here we have our selection of coffee for our Keurig. Then we have some fruit cups, sleepy time tea, regular tea bags, and then we have some white cups. Thank you very much for the suggestion. I was able to find these at Pier 1. They are absolutely perfect because they're great for soup or any kind of a hot drink. And then coming over to this corner, we have some of the things that just transferred over from our old uh, coffee setup. These are all of our toppings that we like to add to our coffee, cinnamon, nutmeg, apple pie spice, pumpkin pie spice. I still have not had the opportunity to try the cardamom spice. I want to try that because I know that that was something that was suggested and I have not come across it as of yet, but I'm still looking. This is our handy dandy catch-all basket for any stray papers or stray K cups. And we do, I like to put them in here instead of putting them into the garbage because we empty out our K cups so that the plastic containers are reusable. Because once you do remove the coffee from them and clean them out, the coffee containers are not reusable. Well, they are, yes, they are reusable because you can, they're great for starter plants, but they are recyclable. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. And then we have our napkins back there. Those are the last napkins of that variety I was able to find anywhere at any dollar store. And so I'm holding on to those so tightly because I love those so much, but we will not be using those app. I won't be repurchasing paper napkins for this bar because we are trying to do as many reusable items as possible. And so we do reusable napkins and paper towels, and so I just want to make some coffee bar napkins that are just a nice cocktail size to fit on our bar. This container holds our reusable straws, and then we have our sweeteners, and these are our snack containers. This is definitely something new for our coffee station. These are our hot chocolate containers. I pre-packed all of these containers with different types of treats for our hot chocolate. And then we also have a couple of containers of our oatmeal. They are called, they are the, not the instant oats, but the quick oats. And then I put a little bit of brown sugar and the non-dairy milk inside of it. This is a nice grab and go item as well. 
all of these right here have different ingredients in them, but they you can see the differences in the ingredients. I do not have the, what do you call those chalkboard labels to put onto these containers. I, I believe they sell them. Sometimes they'll have them in the dollar store. I didn't see them when I went yesterday, but I'm sure that Michael's or Joanne's would have them. So I'm going to get some of those and I am going to label them with all of the different ingredients. I wanted to put cayenne pepper into a couple of the jars, but because I don't want my little one to get the cayenne pepper jars, I did not put them into the jars because I don't want him to get one of those and I don't have the appropriate labeling for them. But that is something that will be added. And then over here we have some of our extra toppings, just chocolate chips, marshmallows. We have caramels and some sprinkles to put into our hot chocolate. And that's all. The stand that I have my coffee bar on right now is from Ikea. It is actually a twin sized headboard and we repurposed it and we are using it as a, as a shelf for our coffee bar. And it is so perfect for exactly what we need to use it for because the back of it is hollow. So all of the cords for our machines can just dangle behind and they are hidden. And it also doubles as a hidden area for the shelves that slide into the, into the little nook area. And that's where we keep extra coffee pods as well as the surplus of mugs that we have been collecting. So that's it. This is our little Starbucks. We love it so much. Hopefully you'll get some ideas for something that you can do in your home. These grab and go containers have been working out really well. And please don't forget to give us a little saying to put on our board. Talk to you again soon. Bye guys.